to be able to fund this STEM program is very expensive, and as the affirmative has mentioned, there is no cap space. Primary and secondary education takes a long time, and to be able to get a, a reliable source of data, we need to be funding every year of new students. And this uh, adds up to cost a lot. Next, I'd like to go to the humanities trade-off disadvantage. Humanities trade-off is the means by which research from these fields is effectively uh, communicated. For instance, you need English skills and uh, debate skills to be able to pass uh, different laws. And we also need these history skills to not make the same mistakes as we have in, uh, as a nation have made before. I would like to move on to solvency. Uh, the problem is not that we don't have enough engineers. We have enough engineers and scientists. Rather, the problem is nobody has, uh, everybody drops out of college because there's no incentive to stay in. If they stay in, they'll be, pay, uh, they'll be getting paid less. So they would want to find higher, more uh, paying, uh, higher paying jobs. And I would like to now address the cyber war. The affirmative has said that cyber war could potentially be very deadly. However, historically, uh, cyber war has never killed anybody, and the only possibly lethal attack was executed by the United States. Uh, addressing their warming, human extinction will happen if, uh, green, if climate change increases by 12 degrees Celsius. This is a very long time, and greenhouse gases double at a very slow rate, giving humans the time to uh, giving humans the time to be able to adapt to this climate change and uh, able to work on uh, these projects. Open for causing some information. A minute after this one. A minute and a half. No. Yeah. You don't usually you don't know, have time before process, it has to be like after process and before your speech. Awesome. Okay. So we'll start off. Uh, what percentage of kids drop out of college and why do they drop out? Well, uh, studies show it's about forty percent of kids that drop out of college. But if you include the factor of pre-med students, that uh, raises the rate to about 60% of kids that drop out. They drop out because, well, uh, they have, there's no incentive for the paying jobs. Uh, these jobs pay about $10 an hour, which is about the same, uh, which is about the same uh, average uh, as a person, as a McDonald's worker. Okay. Uh, how expensive... Uh this STEM education is right well, now. Well, we have read uh, that small, uh, small plans or small funding could potentially cost us millions of dollars. Big funding will cost even more. For all these schools, it will be uh, a lot of money. Okay. Um, you said given time uh, for global warming to increase to uh, 12 degrees Celsius. Uh, what are we doing to advance or help uh, global warming uh, eliminate greenhouse class, uh, gases right now? Can you clarify? Uh, so what are we doing right now to eliminate greenhouse gases? Uh, right now, there uh, we don't have any evidence that says that. However, greenhouse gases do double at a very slow rate. 